Every year we deal with them. Cicadas. The bugs are known for their high pitched noise they make and for hanging around the Carolinas and several claims circulating online say two different types of cicadas are now emerging, uh, something that last occurred more than 200 years ago. So is this true? Megan Bragg verifies. All of these cicadas are completely synchronized with one another. So every single 13 year old cicada emerges from the ground simultaneously, flies around, has a massive party, sheds their exoskeletons, makes massive nests, and then dies. Several posts on social media say two different types of cicadas will emerge across several states, and they also claim this hasn't happened in two centuries. So is this true, and will we see it in North Carolina? Let's verify. Our source is Dawn Flynn, adjunct curator of entomology at the Scheele Museum in Gastonia and the University of Connecticut. Flynn tells us each year in North Carolina, we see a particular type of insect in the summer called the dog day cicada. But this year, we will be greeted by another type of cicada as well, this one called Brood 19. The periodicals only come out every 13 years. For 13 years, Brood 19 cicadas have lived underground. Flynn says several states in the southeast, including North Carolina, will see them emerge this summer. The immatures are underground feeding on the roots of trees uh, during that period of time. And then uh, at the end of their time underground, they come out and they attach to something solid like the side of a building or a fence post. There is a third type of cicada that is also expected to emerge this year. Flynn says it is true Brew 13, which has a 17 year life cycle, will come out as well. When combined with the Brood 19s, that will mean billions and billions of cicadas, but only in some parts of the country. The two broods uh, are going to be meeting together uh, for the first time in 221 years in the same place, and that's in, north, in northern Illinois. They won't, both broods won't meet here. Thankfully, we won't see brood 13 in the Carolinas, but we are expected to see more activity because we should get the brood 19 insects alongside with our annual dog day cicadas, and that high pitched sound they all make, that's just their mating call. There's nothing you can really do because there's so many of them. They're going to be in the trees, and the males are the ones that make all the noise that sing for the females. So we can verify that, yes, two types of long dormant cicadas, brood 19 and brood 13, will emerge in some states, but only brood 19 will emerge here. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bryan. And if you have something you would like verified, just email us at verify at wcnc.com.